YouTube, what's up? Gonna do a all bosses run here with my new Infinity Holding Lightning Trap Assassin. So first I'm gonna go over all the gear and then I will show you each boss kill and see how well it plays. It's using an Infinity and a Brandy stock. The reason for this is it's the fastest weapon for this character. It's basically like playing with 20% increased attack speed. It has minus 50 enemy lightning resistance. Griffin's Eye with a 5-5 five, five facet in it for minus 24 plus 18. A 30 roll res Maras. Enigma. Sandstorm Trex for the 15 to vitality, 13 to strength, and the 67 poison res. Also has 20% faster hit recovery, which is helping me to reach the 30 breakpoint or the 27 breakpoint. SOJ for the extra skills and the mana. Raven Frost Ring for cannot be frozen and 20% cold absorb. This helps helps because the cold resist is rather low. Arachnid's Mesh for the plus to skills, 20% faster cast rate, and the slows target by 10%. Using Trangles for the 20% faster cast rate and the cold resist plus 30. So along with the Griffin's Eye, Arachnid's Mesh, and the Trangles, you get the six, you hit the 65 faster cast rate breakpoint. Another bonus to holding Infinity is that you get the 35% faster run walk, 45 faster run walk on the Enigma, and the 20% on the Boots. Plus I have a Charm with 3%, so it's over 100 faster run walk, so it's nice and fast, along with using burst of speed. On swap is a 654 CTA and a Monarch. I was able to wear the Monarch because when I put the stat points in, I was only 10 points shy, so I put the 10 points in so that I could wear the Monarch. Using a 1918 torch, a 2015 and Annie, trap skiller with 45 life, and then the rest are random trap skillers, couple with life and mostly plain. For small charms at the bottom, they're all life and res to make up for the low res on this character. Because you're holding infinity, you kind of are low on res, so faster hit recovery, 11 res is important, trying to get me to that 27 breakpoint. 20 life, 11 res, 19 life, 10 cold res, two decks, and all resistances, four, and five all res. 5% faster hit recovery and lightning res, 10. And then the three faster run walk and 11 light red. So the stat points, 156 into strength, and then the rest into vitality. So here's the res split. So cold resistance, 52. Not so bad because you have the 20% cold absorb, which is huge on the Raven Frost Ring. The fire res is low, but you'll see why on the Merc. Lightning resistance, not really that great, but you can always bump up and use fade if you're going through an area that has a lot of souls or does lightning damage, and then poison resist is 75. For the advanced stats, damage reduced by eight, that comes from Enigma, 122 magic find, 10 experience gained, 14 life after kill from the Enigma, the 103 faster run walk, 30% faster hit recovery, so you're hitting that 27 breakpoint, 65 faster cast rate for the for that breakpoint for teleporting, cold absorb, cannot be frozen, and then minus 74 enemy lightning resistance, and then plus 18 to lightning damage. For the mercenary setup, so he's using a flickering flame. So this gives them, him and myself, the level seven resist fire aura. So that helps boost your fire resist and makes it pretty much maxed out when you have it. Chains of Honor for the plus two to skills, the 8% life stolen per hit, and all the resistances and the 20 strength. Then using an insight and a thresher for the 17 meditation. And then he's, he's a prayer merc. So the prayer helps boost your life. Even if you get poisoned, you don't have to worry about potting for life. Your life pretty much stays up along with the 14 life after kill from Enigma. You're pretty much topped off on life all the time. Prayer is a synergy for meditation, which keeps your mana fully charged. You never have to worry about potting for mana. For the skill tree, nothing into martial arts. One point into all of these. So I bounce between burst of speed and fade. So I use fade when you're feeling like you need some extra resistance and damage reduction. And then burst of speed, most of the time players one, you can use burst of speed and just lay traps really quick. You can even just lay traps really quick and then switch to fade if you want. Max out fire blast, max out shock web, max out charge bolt sentry. This is great for boss killing. Lightning sentry maxed out and then one point into death sentry. And then I have wake of fire, one point into wake of fire and then 18 points into wake of inferno. These two are synergies for fire blast and fire blast is pretty much your main for enemies that are resistant to lightning. Even if Infinity breaks the Lightning Resistance, the Fire Blast does more damage and it's quicker to use that. The reason for having more points into this, and I don't even have it mapped yet, but you can use this to uh, kill specific bosses if you want. But in this case, I won't be using that. I'm only going to use Fire Blast. So here we go. We'll go with the first boss. 
Andy. So buff up and then I use burst of speed for this. And so this is the teleport speed. 65 breakpoint. It's certainly not that fast compared to a Sork, but it's not super slow either. And this is all on players one. So drop some traps and then fire blast. It's almost instant players one. Got to go through Arcane Sanctuary. But you can see that teleporting around, if you didn't have uh, meditation, Oh, so you can see there. So they do ha they do ma mana burn. So that's the kind of only issue with having such a low mana pool is that it's like zapped almost instantly. But meditation, it brings it right back up real quick. Don't even really need to pot. You can just kind of hold off or you can just continue going. You should be fine. But yeah, if you didn't have the meditation mercenary or meditation on your mercenary, you would be sucking a lot of mana pots just teleporting around. All right, so square, circle, triangle, sun, moon. So it's the double arrow looking thing, which I think is on this side. to the left. Puzzle piece is a dead end. Yep. So even though this build is mainly lightning, because you have to go through Fire Blast, or you, you do max Fire Blast because it's a synergy, it's good to use it, and it does a whole lot of damage. So in this case, we'll do Charge Bolt Sentry and then toss Fire Blast Bombs. Makes quick work. I love being able to run fast. So for this one, we will use Fade on the way down just to be safe with uh, dolls, in case like dolls. And we didn't need it because the, it was right there. Charge Bolt Sentry and then Fire Blast. For this, I will do just the seal bosses. The quality of life on this build is actually pretty nice without having to pot. So these guys, because they're immune to lightning, still use Fire Blast, which is pretty quick. I can't carry I will say that because of the mercenary setup, he's a little bit squishy. 
because he doesn't have an increased attack speed along with his life leech because that's pretty much how your mercenary stays alive is life leech and attack speed because it's low in this case he's a little bit squishy so you got to keep an eye on him a little bit For Diablo, I do the Charge Bolt Sentry right on top, and then supplement with Fire Blast Bombs. Rather quick. Last is Bale. Throw on Fade for the teleporting down. Fire Blast does well against souls too. So I'll go back to burst of speed so I can lay traps quicker. And I like to do this in sort of like a star pattern here. You get that crisscross and then fire blast. So after each wave, I do a little circle and then fire blast the reason for the circle is because I'm on PS5 on a controller which it's harder to lay traps accurately because there's no mouse you can tank these, which is good. It's important to be able to tank these Hydras. I think, with a build. Last wave. Still do that star pattern. And then these are kind of harder, so I kind of like lead them down and around if I can. Gotta keep them in the mix. Yeah, it was pretty good. And then for Bale, we will do Charge Bolt Sentry and then Fire Blast Bombs. So right on top of them, do the Charge Bolt Sentry and then Fire Blast Bombs. So quick little demo, all the bosses uh, on Players 1. This is Players 1 online, non-ladder. I There are Sunder Charms in this, but I have not used it for this build because I didn't think you would need it because holding infinity does huge to break lightning immunities. And then you have your fire blast bombs as your secondary, which is totally fine. So I, don't, I didn't feel like I needed the Sunder Charm at all. Obviously, you can use it to help but I didn't think it was necessary. 
So yeah, that's it. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to do so below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.